nucleus ultra structure and function part 1 the nucleus is composed of various structures namely nuclear envelope nucleoplasm or nuclear sap nuclear matrix chromatin and nucleolus the nuclear membrane forms an envelope like structure around the nuclear contents and is commonly known as the nuclear envelope the nuclear envelope separates the nucleoplasm from the cytoplasm the electron microscopic studies of the nuclear envelope have shown that it is composed of two unit membranes an outer membrane and an inner membrane each membrane is about 75 to 90 angstroms thick and lipoproteinous in nature the outer and inner nuclear membranes remain separated by a space known as perinuclear space the outer nuclear membrane often remains rough due to the presence of ribosomes on its surface sometimes it remains continuous with the membranes of the endoplasmic reticulum Golgi complex, mitochondria, etc. The inner nuclear membrane contains no ribosomes and sometimes it also remains associated with the chromatin. Further, the nuclear membrane is followed by a supporting membrane of a uniform thickness known as fibrous lamina which is 300 angstrom in thickness. At certain places, the nuclear envelope is interrupted by the presence of small structures called nuclear pores. The number of pores for a particular nucleus is variable and often depends on the species and type of the cell. Watson, 1959, has calculated the nuclear pores of the mammalian cells as 10% of the total surface area of the nucleus. The nuclear pores are octagonal in shape and have a diameter of 600 angstroms. These are enclosed by a circular structure known as annuli. The pores and the annuli are collectively known to form the pore complex. The pore complex remains arranged hexagonally on surface of the nuclear envelope. The annuli have an outer diameter of 1200 angstroms and an inner diameter between 0 and 400 angstroms. In certain cases, the pore complex remains covered by a thin membrane or septum which may serve as a special structure for the selective permeability. The nuclear membranes of the nuclear envelope perform various functions for the nucleus, such as in certain cells like oocytes. The nuclear membranes allow free exchange of ions between the nucleus and the cytoplasm, while certain nuclear membranes, as of the cells of the salivary glands of Drosophila, act as a barrier for diffusion of substances and even the ions of potassium, sodium, and chlorine. The nuclear pores are the pathways for the exchange of the macromolecules. The pores help in exchange of materials between nucleoplasm, nuclear fluid and cytoplasm. The ribonuclear proteins, RNP, granules leave the nucleus through nuclear pores from the nucleoplasm to the cytoplasm. The annuli regulate the exchange of the macromolecules through the pore complex according to their chemical nature and size. The permeability of the pore complex depends on the type and metabolic state of the cell. The nuclear envelope disappears during cell division and reappears during nuclear reorganization. 
The space between the nuclear envelope and the nucleolus is filled by a transparent semi-solid granular and slightly acidophilic ground substance or the matrix known as the nuclear sap or nucleoplasm or karyolins. The nuclear components such as the chromatin threads and the nucleolus remain suspended in the nucleoplasm. The nucleoplasm has a complex chemical composition. It is composed mainly of the nuclear proteins but it also contains other inorganic and organic substances such as nucleic acids, proteins, enzymes and minerals. The common nucleic acids of the nucleoplasm are the DNA and RNA. Both may occur in the macromolecular state or in the form of the monomer nucleotides. The nucleoproteins of the nucleoplasm can be categorized as histone or basic proteins and non-histone or acidic proteins. The proteins which take basic stain are known as the basic proteins. The most important basic proteins of the nucleus are nucleoproteins and the nucleohistones. The acidic proteins either occur in the nucleoplasm or in the chromatin. The most abundant acidic proteins of the euchromatin are the phosphoprotein. The nucleoplasm contains many enzymes which are necessary for the synthesis of the DNA and RNA. Most of the nuclear enzymes are composed of non-histone acidic proteins. The most important nuclear enzymes are the DNA polymerase, RNA polymerase, NAD synthetase, nucleoside triphosphatase, adenosine diaminase, nucleoside phosphorylase, QNase, aldolase, enolase, 3-phosphoglyceraldehyde, dehydrogenase, and pyruvate kinase. The nucleoplasm also contains cofactors and coenzymes such as ADP and acetyl-CoA. According to Stoneberg, 1939 and Downs 1955 the nucleoplasm contains small lipid content. The nucleoplasm also contains several inorganic compounds such as phosphorus, potassium, sodium, calcium and magnesium. The nucleoplasm performs certain functions such as supporting the chromatin material and nucleolus and providing turgidity to the nucleus. It is the site of synthesis of DNA, RNA and ribosomal subunits. Nuclear matrix is a network of fine crisscrossing protein containing fibrils which are joined to the nuclear envelope by their ends. On the periphery below the nuclear envelope nuclear matrix forms a dense fibrous layer called nuclear lamina. The nuclear matrix maintains the shape of the nucleus. Chromatin fibers are anchored to the nuclear matrix. The machinery for various nuclear activities such as replication and transcription is associated with the nuclear matrix. The nucleoplasm contains many thread-like coiled and much elongated structures which take readily the basic stains such as the basic fuchsin. These thread-like structures are known as the chromatin substance or the chromatin fibers. During the cell division, chromatin fibers become thick ribbon-like structures which are known as the chromosomes. Chemically, Chromatin consists of DNA and proteins. A small quantity of RNA 
may also be present. Most of the protein of chromatin is histone, but the non-histone proteins are also present. The protein DNA weight ratio averages about 1 is to 1. The fibers of the chromatin are twisted, fine anastomos and uniformly distributed in the nucleoplasm. Two types of chromatin material have been recognized. Heterochromatin and euchromatin. The darkly stained, condensed region of the chromatin is known as heterochromatin. The heterochromatin occurs around the nucleolus and at the periphery. It is supposed to be metabolically and genetically inert because it contains comparatively small amounts of DNA and a large amount of RNA. The light stained and diffuse region of the chromatin is known as the euchromatin. The euchromatin contains comparatively large amounts of DNA. Heterochromatin remains tightly coiled during interphase while euchromatin remains loosely coiled forming a network. The former is a condensed region of chromatin whereas the latter is a diffused region. Heterochromatin has granules of various sizes whereas euchromatin does not have granules. Besides, Heterochromatin is present in certain places in chromatin while euchromatin forms the bulk of the chromatin. Heterochromatin is supposed to be genetically inert and does not take part in transcription. It replicates late in the S phase. On the other hand, euchromatin is genetically active and only a portion of it associated with acid proteins takes part in transcription. It replicates early.